G'day folks, welcome to When Life Gives You Yums, our vegan food review channel where we review a bunch of new vegan products to help you decide what to eat and what not to eat. Mm -hmm. What have we got today? We've got this hot chop drinking chocolate mm. by Loving Earth. We've reviewed a few Loving Earth products <laughs> <laughs> um, in the past. <laughs> Um, so this is one I haven't yet tried. Indy's tried it, but I haven't yet tried it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Resist it. She couldn't resist. And bum bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> the new look. The pronunciation of this. Can you? <laughs> There's a bit of a talk on the internet about whether you say vego, vigo. Um, I don't know what other uh, possibilities there are. I call it Veggio. Me too. But apparently, I think it comes from Germany. It's supposed to be Vigo. But um, anyway, whatever it is, they've got this spread. So there's been a lot of talk about this spread lately. So we're excited to um, show that to you. And these cheddar puffs. Now, I grew up eating cheesels and twisties and things like that. You didn't. I didn't. No. <laughs> I ate, like, cheese balls once. Before you went vegan, yeah. Well, yeah, I was, like, eating some egg and honey and stuff, yeah. but I was vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that these will um, tick that box a little for me because I used to love sitting there with cheesels on all my fingers. <laughs> that was fun. Um, I don't think these fit on your fingers, but anyway. Should we start with these? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So these are made by a company called Live and Enjoy, I think. Oh no, sorry, it says Live and Enjoy. Sorry, it's Vegan Robs. Vegan Robs. Um, from New York, so they're from America. Mm, wow, smells <laughs> so cheesy. But like, not like Cheezel's cheesy, it smells like... Parmesan cheesy. I don't know what Parmesan smells like. Yeah. It smells like the Robusta. It's very, tried. exactly. Well, that's a very Parmesan-y smell. It's very pungent and authentic. All right. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. They're nice. I like them. It is a very Parmesan-y flavor. <laughs> it's almost not processed cheese powder enough for me because... That's the kind of thing I was hoping for. I was hoping it would be a, a Cheezels replica, but it's oh, nice. Think... Once I get over that, the, the expectation not being met, um, I think, you know, and they're, they're long shapes like this. Um, hmm. Well, yeah. would you eat them again? Yeah. Yeah? i get them again. Do I like them more than regular chips? I think. Yeah, they've certainly got a, 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 a place in the in the snack world. I, I don't know if I like them more than regular potato chips or not. Mm -hmm. You like potato chips more than this? Well, depends what kind. Mm, yeah. Like, I, I think they're all they're fine. great. Yeah, yeah. Fine snack. Good. Mm -hmm. Enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Yep, very cheesy. Very cheesy. Um, but a parmesan -y cheese, not a cheddar-y cheese. So, it is called cheddar puff. It is called cheddar puff, that is true, but I would say that that flavour is not cheddar-y. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, uh, you know... I have know, no idea what cheddar -y or yeah, or... that's true. Whatever it mm. is. Okay, now, should we do this one next? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, for all you people that haven't uh, tried this before... Oh, um, a bit of a I'm not sure if there's a smooth... Variety? Oh, I just got it all over my fingers because it was <laughs> kind of. So yeah, there's that layer. Um, <laughs> Looks like it's been tipped upside down. Yeah, well, I think in the car it got tipped upside down. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna go wash my fingers. Yes. <laughs> okay. Armed with a spoon. Now I grew up eating Nutella. I didn't. You didn't. <laughs> so. This, I was hoping, would 
tick that box for me. This is crunchy. I'm not sure if it also comes in a smooth. This one says crunchy, so I'm assuming that there's a smooth one. Uh, mm. And for me, this totally and utterly ticks the Nutella box. And I like the crunch, it's better. It's better than Nutella. It's amazing. Better than Nutella. <laughs> Um, and, and then you get these little glasses, so it's not a jar so much, it's a glass um, with Veggio Vigo printed on it. So you build up a collection of glasses, I guess, but that is amazing. Life totally gave us yums there. Hmm? Life gave us a big yum. Big yum, yes. All right, so that gets the big thumbs up from us. And now... I'm gonna go make some mugs of creamy drinking chocolate. So I'll be back. Or hot chocolate, as yeah. I call it. Yes. Okay, so we've got mugs of um, milk. Well, hot soy milk. Soy I prefer milk. soy milk. I, the Vita Soy brand is my favorite. The purple one, I think that's Kelsey Plus or something. So this, um, it says on the back to add to hot milk. I was about to make it with hot water, but it says add to hot milk. So We've got our hot milk, and it's actually got, I didn't realise, um... Little chunks of chocolate. Yeah, so I'll pick one out for you. They're a bit covered in cocoa. Yeah, but you can actually... It's got chunks of actual chocolate in it, which I've never seen in a, a drinking chocolate before. Yeah. And it says add two tablespoons. So... mean is in measured. Oh, uh, that, that was an estimate. You need to give that a stir. So I guess the, the chocolate should melt in there if, you, if your milk is warm enough. Um, and let's see how it goes. A lot of drinking chocolates, you get lumpy and don't, don't blend well. This is lumpy. It is, it is going a bit lumpy. Very. Yeah, um, which can be annoying. Well, you know. it's, it's, I like, think it's because of I... all the chocolate lumps. Well, you know, it's looking a bit like, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it is, it is, it is like it's kind of not just blending into the, the milk, you know. Which I guess when I usually make hot chocolate, I, I make a paste and, and gradually add more milk. So it didn't say to do that, so I didn't do that. Oh, it's um, getting better. Look. Yeah, it's gradually, gradually melting. Um, like it's still a bit yeah. grainy, but barely. Like I'm still getting some chunks. I tried to make my, my milk as hot as possible so that it could, um, because I knew the chunks would need to melt. I think, I think that's oh, fine. Good. Should we taste it? Wait. Mmm. That's nice and rich. Wait, it's a bit hot. It's a bit hot for you. For me personally, it doesn't say... And sugar, but I need sugar. I've got, like, when I have tea and coffee, which is not that often. It's meant to be drinking chocolate. I, I, so I'm the kind of person that would have maybe one and a half sugars in their tea or coffee. So if you don't like sugar in your tea or coffee, then maybe this is a good level of sweetness for you. But um, for me, it's not. So I'm going to go get some sugar and I'll be back. Yes, can I have some too? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add a teaspoon... Of sugar to your yes my spoon was a bit wet so they stuck um, and I'll add a teaspoon of sugar to my one and we will see so yeah there's there's um evaporated coconut nectar in there as a sweetener but um, I don't think they added enough personally Mm. That's much better for me, and I think that's perfect. I think it just needed a spoonful of sugar. Do you, do you think it needs more? Or? I think maybe half another. You would like, yeah, another half. Um, it's a little bitter, but then again, all chocolate, drinking chocolate can be a bit bitter. Um, but if you add enough sugar, it's not. Yeah, so I think that's delicious. Um, it's not, it's quite creamy. It's not like amazingly different to... 
a lot of other drinking chocolates that I've had. Um, I'm not sure I like if the, the chocolate chunks actually add. It's nice finding them at the bottom of your drink. The bottom of your drink. A right? lot more. So. No, it's nice. It's nice. It's not mind blowing, but it's nice. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'd have it again. I probably wouldn't get it again. It's quite probably pricey, have, like, so that that that. And sugar. <laughs> <laughs> um, that cost me $12.50. I can't remember where I bought it from. Um, so at that price, I, to be honest, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, because I can make a yummy hot chocolate just with cocoa or I think there's another cheaper one at the supermarket. But, um, yeah, so that's tricky. It's not so good that it would justify that kind of price. But it's nice. It's not not nice. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, was that all we had to review today? I think that's it. Yes, it is. Okay. Did life give us yums? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, especially oh, well, with especially the, with, uh, veggie, the spread. veggie spread. So good. This, I'd happily eat again. The, pu the puffs, the cheddar puffs. Yep. The others were were good, and the veggie bar was great. All right, guys. See you next time. Spread. Not bar. Spread. There Hit are also subscribe if you like our, you know, yada yada. All that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>